Good evening and welcome to Tina's Wish Women's Committee event. When Tina was in her last stages of her life, she said she really wasn't so angry about having ovarian cancer. What she was angry about was that she didn't know sooner and have a fighting chance. So thus our mission was born and it was to fund scientific research for early detection of ovarian cancer. Unfortunately, it does make this list. So this is the risk of the most deadly diseases, but here's ovarian cancer, and here we are at number five. But unfortunately, we don't catch ovarian cancer quickly enough. Quite commonly, when people present to their doctors, they already have disease that has spread beyond the ovary. Usually it's spread to other parts of the abdomen, and sometimes quite distant to the lungs and beyond. If we were able to detect ovarian cancer at an early stage, we'd do a much better job and our survival rates would be far improved. What we really need is a screening test. A well, screening test is a test that takes all comers, those who don't have symptoms, and looks to see if there's a risk of them having the disease. This is not a fatal disease. We're talking close to 90% five-year survival. Unfortunately, since the vast majority of women present at stage three or four, we're looking more around here, about 40% five-year survival. The signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer, people used to call this a silent disease. It's not a silent disease if you know what you're looking out for. But if you have symptoms like these for five days in a row without a clear reason, contact your doctor. And perhaps more importantly, risk-reducing surgery, so removing both the ovaries and the fallopian tubes, reduces your risk of dying from this cancer by up to 95%. And this time he called a few days later and said he had some concerning news. My pap smear had shown the presence of irregular cells, and a follow-up biopsy showed that I had endometrial cancer. Now, the biopsy also indicated that there was every reason to think that my cancer had been caught in its early stages, in which case the chances for a complete cure were something like 90%, right? If you have to get cancer, said my gynecologist, this is the kind to get. <laughs> Well, okay, but the only way they can treat it is to give you a radical hysterectomy, as probably most of you know, just as soon as possible. So the day after my, my hysterectomy, Dr. G visited my hospital room. We have found a malignancy on your right ovary, she said. I'm sorry, I thought I had endometrial cancer. You have both. I have both. Now. I could tell by the look on my husband's face and, and, and how quiet he was, and the look on, even on Dr. G's face that this was not good news. Now, it is not unheard of to have these two cancers together. It is called comorbidity, which is such a lovely turn of phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in that hospital room, you know, I just couldn't take it in, right? I just kept thinking, Either way, I should probably think twice about renewing my gym membership. <laughs> That's true. The best gift you can give anybody is the gift of good memory. And to give a good memory is sometimes just to take the time and spend it with us. And to share your knowledge is just so touching. <laughs>